Hello there, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to your weekly tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Virgo, we're looking into this week of August 2nd to August 8th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and check your chart placements out on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe. And if you are a returning Virgo, welcome back. And thank you so very much for being here and for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of my beautiful Virgos out there. Please do not forget to like the video. It really helps my channel grow. So Virgo, we're going to get you a number for this week and see what number Spirit is highlighting for you. You may see this number on license plates, billboards, phone numbers, wherever you see digits. So let's see, Spirit, for my beautiful Virgos, what number is being highlighted for Virgo for this week. All right, Virgo. Your number is 25. I am intelligent. You have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. All right, so you are extremely wise this week. You may be learning something new. You may actually be studying something or you could be training in some sort of course, whatever the case may be. It does not <clears throat> actually specifically have to be that. For a lot of you Virgos, you know, a sense of intelligence can come from anywhere. You could be receiving some sort of information from your subconscious and conscious levels. Um, you may be unlocking some hidden knowledge from spirit as well. So let's see what your Moonology has here for this week for Virgo. We have a new moon in Leo on the 8-8 Lion's Gate portal. So Spirit for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's your Moonology for this week? And we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. All right, so Virgo, there definitely could have been um, something bothering you recently. I almost feel like for some of you Virgos, I randomly feel like for some of you, you may um, have been feeling bothered by people's lack of common sense. Um, I don't know, that could be just for some of you, but I randomly felt that. Um, a personal issue reaches resolution. So for some of you, Virgos, you may have felt like you weren't as wise and intelligent as others or whatever the case may be. You're definitely feeling better within yourself. If something was bothering you, you are feeling better, you are feeling good. This personal issue is reaching its resolution and reaching its end. So it definitely could have been something that you were bothered by emotionally. Maybe you had um, a lack of, um, like I said, I feel like people around you were having a lack of common sense or you felt that. For some of you, it could be through work where people are very, very um, asking you things because they want to know what you think about things. People may be looking at you as somebody who is very wise this week, but let's see what your unicorn has for you, Virgo. And we have Archangel Uriel. Become a peace ambassador. All right, so Archangel Uriel definitely helping you stay peaceful in certain situations where you felt possibly frustrated or bothered. Let's see what would have come next towards that. And we have card number 19, Manifestation. Focus on a vision beyond yourself and your unicorns will help you. All right, so I feel like for some of you Virgos, you have been trying to manifest something. And I feel like for some of you Virgos, you either felt as though you didn't know enough on how to manifest or you didn't have the knowledge on how to manifest correctly, but that's just what you were thinking. Spirit is going to show you that you do have the power, you do have the knowledge, whether you feel like you unlocked it or not is definitely a subconscious and conscious battle you may have been having. So I feel like for some of you Virgos, you have really been wanting something or you have really been trying to create something for yourself and you may have been feeling bothered by the um, 
time it took to happen. You may have been getting frustrated. You may have been feeling like I'm not doing things right. You are doing things right. It's just saying that there is an energy around waiting for your manifestations to grow, right? We plant the seeds and then they grow. So I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you either felt like you weren't manifesting right or you didn't know the correct way to do it or something along those lines. You do know, and this week, a manifestation of yours definitely may be coming into your reality, which helps you have that knowledge. Wow, I did know what I was doing this whole time. So let's get your astrology for this here, Virgo. <clears throat> for some of you, you may have been trying to manifest peace in a certain relationship. I definitely feel like that may be happening and coming. On 25, we have 11th house, community, experience, future, friendships. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you are watching other people live out what you have wanted. Um, you know those comments that people write and they're like, God, I see what you have done for others. I feel like that's the vibe that you were in. You're like, all right, when is it going to be my turn? When is my manifestations going to come into my reality? I see it happening for other people. When is it going to happen for me? So I do feel um, with the 11th house coming through, 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. Underneath um, the full moon in Cancer, we have Pisces, Dreamer, Adoring, and Escapist. Yeah, for a lot of you Virgos, because of the process it takes for your manifestations to come into the, your reality, I really, really feel like you were really up in the clouds about it. You were really feeling like, all right, there's no way it's going to happen for me. Or there was a very strong sense of uncertainty. Underneath your unicorns, you have Taurus, investor, possessive, and practical. Yeah, some of you definitely um, were either... I feel like for some of you, this could be a manifestation of anything. I feel like you could have been trying to manifest more for yourself materialistically. Maybe with this Taurus energy, you've been wanting more money. Maybe you've been wanting more resources. You've been wanting a raise. You've been wanting more abundance your way. For others of you, I do feel like you've been trying to manifest a better community. I don't mean like you're trying to get people together. Maybe you are trying to get people together in terms of being peaceful with one another. Um, for others of you, Virgos, I definitely do feel like you may have been in a process of wanting to manifest more friends or healthier relationships, healthier friendships, health, healthier family, friends, lovers, whatever. I feel like you really want to have this experience for yourself where you're like, wow, I manifested that and it happened for me. And you're going to get it. There's just a, a sense of uncertainty of the timing of it that you are having. That spirit is saying, don't worry. You are wise. You are knowledgeable. You do know what you're doing. Just give me a second, basically. So definitely a dream of yours is coming into fruition. So let's get your tarot on this here, Virgo. I definitely do feel like this week you'll be coming together with a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of family, or a lot of all of that. Family, friends, co-workers, could be anything. And I feel like a lot of people are going to be speaking with you. And a lot of people are going to be wanting to be your friend. One, I feel like you're really attracting a lot of people that want to be in your energy. I feel something around friends though. I feel like people are wanting to be your friend a lot more this week than ever before. So let's clarify this here for you, um, Virgos. On this 11th house, we have the Ace of Cups. Yeah, definitely could be receiving a new offer from a friend wanting to make peace with you, or you could be making a new friend. For some of you as well, you may meet new love as well, or you know, you may be bringing your lover around your friends and family more, which helps you to get closer. Possibly for some of you Virgos, you have been manifesting or have been trying to manifest either um, coming together with your person's family and friends or being more comfortable with this person with your family and friends. But I definitely do feel like if you are introducing a lover to your sense of community, like your friend groups, your family, things are going to go extremely well. 
On Pisces, we have the High Priestess. This is Pisces and Virgo energy. So you've really been trying to use your intuition. You've really been um, sitting in a position. I really do feel like for some of you Virgos, you've been very pulled back and you've been very in a sense of wanting to just know more and know how to do things more for yourself. And I feel like you're finally coming into the realization of how to get things to happen for you. And on this Taurus energy, we have the lovers. Yeah, so you're definitely coming together with somebody beautifully this week. Um, if you are in a relationship, I do feel like you're going to be having your person come around your family and friends or vice versa. They, you are going around their family and friends. For some of you, you may be meeting a new love as well. I do feel like it's more of a new friend, though. It could be new love. I feel like if this is love, it's more around um, the energy of a friendship. But let's clarify this here for you. We do have the lovers here, which is Gemini, which is showing that there is a soul connection here with this person. You know, we can have soul ties to anybody, friends, family, doesn't always have to be lovers. So let's clarify this once more for my beautiful Virgos. On this Ace of Cups, we have the Ace of Swords, yes. Definitely um, a lot of people wanting to hang out with you, wanting to be around you. A lot of your friends have a lot of love for you here, Virgo. And a lot of your, um, I really do feel like if you are meeting somebody's family or vice versa, things are going extremely well. You may have had some sort of um, anxiety about that. It may have been an issue for you where you were like, oh, I don't know, if I, am I going to present myself the right way? Or um, is, is my family going to be open to this person whatever the case may be we have the high priestess with the three of wands so you are ready to reap your rewards you are ready for your ships to come in and on the lovers we have the ten of pentacles yeah there is definitely a huge sense of community a huge sense of family and friends so i do feel like for a lot of you virgos um if your lover is not meeting your family and friends then i definitely do feel like your family and your friends are a lot into you this week they want to be around you they want to talk with you they want to be in your energy people want to know what you have to think what you have to say about things so if you have been manifesting a much stable relationship with your person where you do feel in tune with their community as well i definitely feel like that's going great for you so virgos who are meeting somebody's family or friends things will go great or things are going to be going great some of you since this is in the first position this may have already happened or this may have you you may already be in that energy of it. You may have been very fearful of the way you presented yourself or the way they were going to present themselves. Things are going great and you're ready to see what else comes from this. For others of you, um, Virgos, I do feel like a friend is wanting to make up with you if there was drama, if there was some sort of tension. I do feel like you are finding peace with your friends and family this week, and it's making you feel a wonderful sense of community and stability. So we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have some fire. We have some air. We have some water. So I definitely do feel like you're going to feel really, really good this week. Very happy. Very self-assured. And um, something is happening for you in the physical. You may have felt like it was never going to come, but trust in the process, it is here. So thank you, my beautiful Virgos, for being here and for watching. Um, in terms of work, I was trying to feel if I could see a work thing. I feel like it's just more or less you just feeling stable with all of your relationships, stable with coworkers. If there was drama with coworkers, I do feel like you two are gonna have a sense of like, hey, you know, we have a good friendship here. Let's not let work take this relationship down sort of thing. But that's what I have here for you, Virgo. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and have a great week. Bye now.